Welcome back to our channel. Welcome to viewers from America and around the world. Thank you guys for tuning in. Now, the question is, are all humans related? And can your action affect my life? You know, there's a saying that, show me your company and I will tell you who you are. You remember that saying? Yeah, show me who you hang out with and I will tell you the type of person you are. But how true is that? Can your action truly affect my life? And I think yes, because there's a universal principle that is taught in the Bible where one is blessed, all is blessed. For example, uh, in Genesis, if you read, when God wanted to destroy Sodom, remember that story? And he said if there were 50 righteous in that um, community, he would save the community. There was not 50. He went down until you get to 10. He said, if there's 10 righteous in that community, I'll save it. And also, uh, it is stated too where, you know, the generation down to the fourth generation can be blessed depend on their choices. And they can also be cursed depend on their um their actions now if you remember as well uh, one of these guys <laughs> that's not right okay you um, remember uh, Lot's son um, the one that went in and he saw his father's nakedness and he went and he, he laughed about it and so on and he was cursed right and that entire generation got cursed because of his actions now there um david clayton c-l-a-y-t-o-n just look him up in google and look under um identity and you can get the whole story on this topic my eyes were open wide because i'm looking at certain things in my family and I'm saying, oh my God, you know, we are truly blessed because of my grandmother. So that is truly a blessing. And because of how she lived her life, because of the choices she made, we are actually living from that blessing. So I looked in our family life and realized that we are truly blessed because of the actions of my grandmom, the actions that she took, we're living from that blessing today. So I just wanted to bring that up and point it out to you guys to take a look in your lives, in your family lives, and ask questions. Sometimes we're, you guys may be too young to know, but ask the older um, people from your family. Uh, just sit and talk to them get a genealogy of your family and kind of check it out. Check it out with what's stated in the Bible, what's going on in other people's family lives. And C, check the friends that, you have to do some detective work here, you have to become a detective. Check out the people around you too and see how their lives are impacting your life, negatively or positively. What they're doing, is it influencing you? Are you seeing blessings coming in to your life because of your association? Comment below, guys. Let this be a very active um, uh, chat so we can all benefit. Let me hear your side of it. Uh, I'd like to know. And I'm going to do some more digging on my end as well. And I'll do a follow-up video on this respond and let me know how you guys see this um, are you being blessed by your associations by your family uh, the older ones that pass along what did they leave behind for you a legacy 
of goodness and blessing or curses? All right, comment below, let me know. Okay guys, another hotel. This is the Red Roof Inn. Just checking in. Yeah, you know, I, I bring my own blankets and pillows and so on, because I don't like to use hotels. And I bring my own cleaning supplies as well because of COVID. But everything is looking good as usual, nice and clean. Very nice. Microwave refrigerator. We have a view of outside and look what's going on. Cop giving somebody a ticket. So here is a panoramic view of what the room looks like. Yay. So we're gonna be here for four nights. We're working this store. We are merchandisers. For those of you who don't know what we do, we work and travel, redesigning uh, stores. That's our thing. I'm also a real estate broker as well. So we keep pretty busy. And you guys know too that we are empty nesters. Kids are grown working and in college we have two kids a boy and a girl and we're doing great great lifestyle if you guys want to get hooked up with companies that you can travel and work for let us know uh, the company we work with they provide us food per day so you get money for food you get paid um, expenses like the hotels they pay for your hotels they pay you mileage and you get your paycheck. Mark, you want to say hi? Let's go check out the bathroom. That is the big boss. Marcus. <laughs> Very good at his job. Guys, we love it. So let me put my bag down. Empty the load. Yep. Oh. and let's see what the bathroom looks like let's mark stuff there looking good i can say i like to check them out make sure they're clean presentation is good yeah looking good guys it's the norm, but some places you go, because we've been to places that had bugs coming from everywhere, seriously. And we've been to one where they had to change us as well, another one where they had to change us because it was filthy. I don't know if I put that one up as yet, but I will. So you guys can see, I always like to check the tub, make sure there's no air left over in it then you know they really clean the place <laughs> so guys comment and let me know what you think all right mark enjoying the view